Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are starting off in the pantry. This has actually been highly requested. Y'all have wanted to see me fully clean and organize this area and just show it to some of y'all who maybe haven't seen it before. So this is my pantry. It obviously could look so, so much worse, but just the way that it's set up isn't quite working for me. And I kind of explain a little bit more as we get into the video, but I wanted to at least wipe all the shelves down, get everything organized and just set it up in a way that makes more sense for us. I also wanted to ask you guys a question because as I was cleaning out the pantry, I felt so much joy from it. As weird as that sounds, I love cleaning and organizing spaces. But if you had to choose between organizing your pantry or cleaning out and organizing your fridge, what would be your favorite thing to do? For me, it's definitely the pantry. And I think that also has to do with the fact that the fridge is cold and I really don't like to be cold. So when I'm cleaning it out, my hands are always freezing. But even beyond that, I still would much prefer organizing my pantry. Even though I knew I was going to be pretty overwhelmed by the fact that I'm pulling everything off the shelves, I knew in this situation it was the best thing to do because if I just cleaned it shelf by shelf, I feel like the crumbs would just fall on the next shelf and it just wouldn't be a great situation. So I did go ahead and take everything off and I either put it on the floor or took it into the kitchen because a lot of the stuff I really just didn't want in here anymore. And sometimes that's for no other reason than the fact that I just love change. Is that weird? So I sometimes just like to move things around because it keeps things different. As weird as that sounds, I don't like things to stay the same all the time. If I'm going to take everything off the shelves and clean them anyway, in my mind, I might as well move it around too. I am using the Method Wood for Good cleaner to clean these shelves because first of all, it smells so good, but back about two years ago when I started my channel and I was trying all these different cleaning products because it was kind of new to me to try out different stuff. I had just always done what I had known, but something about starting a channel made me want to explore new cleaning products. And this has been one that has just stuck with me because first of all, it smells so good, but I feel like it really truly cleans the wood better than anything else. So I love it. You can find it at Target or online or anywhere like that. You will love it too, especially if you haven't tried it yet, you should try it out. I did pull all of the cleaning stuff off the top shelf because 
I kind of just want only food to be in here. I mean, it is a pretty big pantry, so I guess it would make sense to have extra stuff up there, but we're just going to try to only put food in here. I still have a little bit more cleaning stuff to move out. Obviously, this huge mess on the floor. And then I just ran to Costco. I really didn't grab a ton of stuff because it was just a madhouse in Costco. Got some more Dr. Pepper, even though we already have way too much, but I just cannot run out. And I pretty much just got a lot of the pantry stuff. I also got grapes and meats and stuff, but I already put that away. Um, some more breakfast stuff. My kids use these to floss. This is a huge pack, and I think it was like $6. Some more cereal. I got them some Fruit Loops, allergy stuff. Um, we're going to try out these. I don't think my kids have had them before. They typically just eat the applesauce cups, but these are a little bit easier because you can squeeze them. Bunch of goldfish. So, yeah, I'm going to also add this to all the pantry organization. Try to get it done quickly. Several videos back, I had asked y'all for breakfast recommendations, and I love everything that y'all said, and I completely agree with everything, too. So many of y'all do get up and cook every single morning, which I commend and think that is so wonderful. I am not a morning person. I would love to retrain myself into believing that I can wake up earlier than I absolutely have to and maybe make some eggs or even toast. But realistically for me and for my family right now, really quick breakfasts are what work the best for us. It's just so hard for me to back that alarm clock up even more, even though I know that's probably what would be best. But one thing I really do want to do is make some healthy muffins, like a huge batch of them, and then just freeze them. And they can eat those in the morning time, like sneak some veggies in there. Other than that, I mean, honestly, these Velveeta crackers and the Nutri-Grain bars and even granola bars just save me in the morning time. <laughs> For those of you whose kids are back in school this year, are y'all having free lunches too? So they kind of announced at the beginning of the year that we were going to do it for a few months. Just all the school lunches were free. And then after those few months were up, they said that it was free for the rest of the year, which is so crazy, but I'm also so thankful for it. Not all of my kids buy lunch every day and by buy lunch, I mean get the lunch for free, but it is so nice on those days where it's like, chicken bites and stuff that I know that all of my kids are going to like because they can just get the lunch there. And then they also have lunchbox buddies where you can send in a sandwich or whatever the main course you want your kid to eat. And they provide all of the sides like a yogurt and fruit and a cookie and some like Cheez-Its or crackers, which is so nice. But when my kids are home and when they have their friends over, we need tons of snacks because my kids eat snacks like they're going out of style. And when they have friends over, I kind of like for it to be more of like the individually packaged snacks because I don't like a million different kids reaching their hands into the container. So for when their friends come over or if we're going on errands and we need to take quick snacks with us, that's why I have these. And then when it's just my kids at home, then we eat out of the containers. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -hmm. Everyone always keep falling in love. 
If y'all had to pick your favorite cereal in the whole world, what would it be? I think mine would actually be the peanut butter Captain Crunch. I know that that is kind of different, but it tastes so good to me. I love it. Of course, anything that I eat too often is going to get old to me. So I think if I ate it all the time, it would be gross after a while. But I haven't really been eating breakfast. As you guys know, I've been doing intermittent fasting. However, when I got sick a couple weeks ago, I had to go on an antibiotic that was very strong and it made me have to eat with it. And I had to take it every morning and every evening. So I had to eat something in the morning and I had to eat something at night. So it kind of threw me off my intermittent fasting there for a little while and I'm slowly trying to get back on track. Thankfully, I did not really gain any weight because I still tried to stay within my calories. But in those times that I had to eat breakfast, I found myself eating cereal and I love cereal so much. I think it's like one of my weaknesses. I think I would prefer a bowl of cereal over a bowl of ice cream. Wish I could say I was finally over you. But that's not the truth mm -mm. Organizing any space for me and really decorating any space is such a trial and error process. I'm constantly moving stuff around. There's really never a time that I put something down the first time and it's exactly how I want it to be. So you guys will see that I shift stuff around a ton and honestly I cut out a ton of clips that I'm also shifting stuff around. So it took a lot longer, honestly, than I anticipated, but it was well worth it. I love the way that it turns out in the end, and over time, I'm sure I will be changing it up even more because really that's just how I am, and I love to mix things up pretty much all the time. I got an ache inside of me. It's a deep hole where I bleed. Oh, can I see you later? You're like an ocean a single grain of sand I'm drifting on it So cold Get warm When you hold me When you close I know I know I'm a lost case I'm a mess But everything Everything feels I did decide to make a couple labels on my Cricut. This video is not at all sponsored by Cricut. I just love them so much that I 
pretty much always talk about them. And those of you who have messaged me over on Instagram asking which Cricut I have, I have the Cricut Maker and then I also have the Cricut Joy and I could not love them more. They are so much fun and well worth the money. In my opinion, I have already made so many gifts and it has helped me get so organized, which I love organization anyway, but I know that Mark has his opinions on things that are labeled that are super obvious, like if it's a utensil holder in the kitchen and it says utensils on it, and I do understand that, but sometimes you really truly do need a label and they help you so much. So for those of you who are organized or even slightly OCD or just love things to be in place, a Cricut is for you all the way and it saves so much money in the long run if you're somebody who likes to order a ton of things on Etsy you can just start making them yourself which has been so fun for me and I love figuring out that I am capable of way more than I thought I was you know that I'm the queen of overthinking it's like we're done before we even started so if this is the end now, baby, know that I gave him my all. I believe in us. I won't give up on you. I will be holding on for life. Hope you believe in us. Please don't give up on me. At least give me a try. Cause you're the best thing, the best thing. I've definitely said this before and not that anybody thinks that I have my life together, but for those of you who might watch a YouTube video and think, oh my goodness, how does she get everything done? Or it must be nice for her to be able to work with her kids not being around. First of all, I never get it all done. I've shared that with y'all before. That's really why I started that series doing the most because we cannot get it all done. We can just do the most that we can to the best of our ability with the best attitude. But the entire time that I was sorting that plastic cutlery into those little bins, I was diffusing an argument that was happening with two of my kids and I won't name names, but I was having a very intense conversation with them and letting them realize how what they said might have been hurtful and maybe not the best choice of words. So my kids are not perfect. I definitely am not perfect. My life is not perfect. I'm so thankful for it. But I promise you there's so much that goes on behind the scenes, not just on YouTube videos, but on Instagram, on Facebook, whoever's life you're comparing yours to. If you feel inadequate, everybody is going through something. Everybody is dealing with breaking up fights with their kids or maybe not having the best day. So the only thing that we can do is try to be as positive as we can and as nice as we can to other people. But I promise you that everyone around you is fighting battles too. It was getting very late on the night before, so I'm coming in the next day to finish everything up in the pantry. I was kind of honestly also just feeling overwhelmed with these weird things that I had left and wasn't quite sure how I wanted them to be organized in the pantry. So sometimes instead of figuring it out, I just go to sleep. I don't know if anybody else does that too, but I came back in the next day with a fresh mind and I got everything figured out and it was no problem, but sometimes you just need some sleep. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about only chasing highs you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never 
never thought it existed I know what I need, ain't gonna lie I know what I want, speak in my mind now A queen needs a king to be by her side On my mind's love and on my mind He can do me better, he can do me better On my mind's everything I like I just ran and picked up the kids from school so it's probably gonna be a little bit loud behind me but it is so crazy how cleaning out a pantry and organizing it can make it seem like you have no groceries at all but I decided to kind of put most of the kids stuff down here so they can always reach it they typically know when snack time is hopefully they won't just eat all day every day but that's where I put those and then in here at first I tried to put the bread definitely didn't fit I'm gonna have to find a different spot for that I just that's some chips that are rolled up but I did decide to do all those across the top like y'all saw and all of like the these type of containers here and then we have people over all the time so we use the disposable spoons and knives and forks just because typically it's too many people to use our regular so I wanted those to be accessible plus they'll take spoons and stuff in their lunches if they take um, yogurt or uh, applesauce or anything like that and the cups and whatnot so I still actually probably need to go to the grocery store to do a little bit more stocking up but for now the fact that this is empty and the floor is clean and everything's organized is good for me. Oh, and one more thing I forgot to mention is I'm not going to the store today, but I think I am tomorrow. And I'm going to try to grab two of the Lazy Susan plastic spinner things because I have all of my baking stuff that I just took out of the pantry. It's on the kitchen counter and I want to organize it better where I can get to it and it's not way back in that corner. And then I'm going to put one here too just for other random stuff. I'm not sure what. But since these are such weird areas that you really can't reach the back or see what's in the back, I figured that would be the best for that. And then this bin right here is just all of Mark's like, well, Bo too. Bo loves these, these pork skins. So there's like tons of bags of those in there. I never thought you would take over my mind because I've been loved. But I'm giving you all of my time Isn't that good enough? Changing my patterns a lot Yeah, I never thought I'd be sitting here right If you are not following me over on Instagram, I would love to have you over there. I will leave my handle right here on the screen and then it is always linked in the description box too. But if you are following me, you know that we have been going through all kinds of craziness with our washing machines, particularly the one downstairs in the laundry room that's kind of in our master bathroom. And it's just giving us so much grief. So we're probably going to be getting a new one. And while we're at it, I'm probably going to get a new dryer because this dryer is 
I'm thinking about 30 years old and it is kind of starting to make our clothes smell burnt. <laughs> so we got this dryer from my brother-in-law who also had had it for a while and it just was kind of like holding us over until we got a new one. So I'm thinking if we get a new washing machine and dryer for the downstairs laundry room that we will also just kind of tie it into a laundry room makeover and do a bunch of fun stuff in there because it's been needing to happen anyway. And I can't even really explain how our bedroom got so disastrous but honestly there's kind of just no excuse for it I just let it build up over time I never put away our Halloween costumes and got them organized into a bin I went to Ikea and just still had my stuff on the corner of the room I have tons of Cricut stuff that I had ordered and it was everywhere so it just got so overwhelming that I think I just gave up and ignored it for a few days maybe even weeks and now I'm getting to it and trying to tackle it all but that is the reason why our washing machine was so out of place when I was putting that load in there. And actually, I was giving it one last try to see if maybe it could run a load of clothes without it smelling horrible, and it did not. So I feel like that was just the sign that it is time for that washing machine to go and to get a top-loading washing machine. I had to wipe down that skirt because it can't go in the washing machine and because it had several random drinks spilled on it the night of our Halloween party. And I'm just packing up all the Halloween stuff and putting it in a bin because either next year somebody might need to borrow it to use it for their costume or I'll end up trying to sell it in the weeks leading up to Halloween. But I basically know there's pretty much nothing I can do with it right now since Halloween's over and nobody's looking at Halloween costumes. So I'm keeping it in a bin. We have tons of empty bins all over the house because we have been going through so many things. So thankfully I had a bin to put it in. You can totally see how overdue I was to dust in here because there's dust flying everywhere as I'm dusting the nightstand. So cool. But sometimes you can only get to things when you can get to them. And I know I think I had mentioned earlier that I was about to just tackle this room, but it's coming in stages just like pretty much everything else in my life. I have little sections of my room that need so much attention, but I still don't know what to do with them. 
for instance, this sign right here and the few things that I have behind it, I still don't know where I want them long term. So I'm kind of struggling and I don't just want to move them to move them. So that part is staying in my room along with a few other Cricut things until I can get everything fully organized. It's just staying in there. So my room will be basically as good as it can be for now. We finally got that little TV that was in the corner of our bedroom for months and months and months out of the room and moved upstairs and all of these cords and random controllers, I have no idea what they do. I just know the boys use them sometimes. So I'm moving them upstairs. Mark always keeps all of that perfectly organized. He doesn't really play video games, but he has pretty much all of the systems and he has his own little organizational system for them upstairs. I mean, he does play occasionally with the boys, but he's not like a video games addict because I wouldn't really love that too much, but I do love that he takes care of all that stuff and that our boys can enjoy it. It's a lot of fun for them all to play together but I am just vacuuming up the room. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it is so much better than it used to be. I am just so thankful for those of you who stayed and watched this video all the way to the end. If you did, I would love for you to let me know that in the comments below. I hope that y'all are having a wonderful week and that you continue to have a wonderful week on into the weekend. I love you guys and I will see y'all next time. Bye.